Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we're doing illustrative math, grade 8, unit 5, lesson 5, practice problems. Okay, first problem here. The solution to a system of equations is 6, negative 3. Choose two equations that might make up this system. So what we need are equations whose solution is the point six negative three. So if I plug in negative three, nope, the x value six, plug in six. Negative three times six is negative 18, plus six is negative 12. Negative 12 is not negative three, it's not a. Two times six is 12 subtract 9 is positive 3. Negative 5 times 6 is negative 30, plus 27 is negative 3. C works. D, Y equals 2 times 6 is 12, subtract 15 is negative 3. E, y equals negative 4 times 3 is negative 12, plus 27 is going to be a positive number. That's not going to work. Okay, so the answer to this is C and D. A car is traveling on a small highway and is either going 50, 55 miles per hour or 35 miles per hour depending on the speed limits until it reaches its destination 200 miles away. Letting X represent the amount of time and hours the car is going 55 miles per hour, and Y being the time and hours that the car is going 35 miles an hour, an equation describing the relationship is 55X plus 35Y equals 200. So 55 times the number of hours they were going 55, 35 times the number of hours they were going 35, and they went 200 miles. If the car spends two and a half hours going 35 miles an hour, how long does it spend going 55? Well, 55x plus 35, and we spent two and a half hours going 35 times 2.5 equals 200. We just have to solve this for x. Now, let's maybe sneak this guy in here. 35 times 2.5 is 87.5. 87.5. 55x plus 87.5 equals 200. Now we'd have to subtract that 87.5 from each side. 55x equals 200 minus 87.5 is... 112.5. Divide each side by 55. And x equals 2.045 repeating 2.045 repeating if they spent two and a half hours going 35 miles an hour they spend just a little tiny bit over two hours going 55 miles an hour if the car spends three hours going 55 miles an hour on the trip, how long does it spend going 35? Well, then we just have to plug three hours into the X. So 55 times 3 plus 35Y equals 200. 55 times 3 is... 165 plus 35y equals 200. Oh, 
So I already had that. 200 subtract 165 is, ooh, it's 35. 35y equals 35. Y equals 1. If the car spends no time going 35 miles per hour, how long would the trip take? Well, 55x plus 35 times y, but if we spend 0 hours, 35 times 0 is just 0. How long will it take? Divide each side by 55. Two hundred divided by fifty five is three point six three. X equals three point six three repeating hours. Okay, what have we got next? That was it for that chunk. A graph represents an object that shot upwards from a tower and then falls to the ground. The independent variable is time in seconds. Dependent variable is the object's height above the ground. How tall is the tower from which the object was shot? How tall is the tower? The tower is 10 meters tall. Because we started 10 meters off the ground. When did the object hit the ground? Height in mirror, meters of zero. When did the object hit the ground? The ground would be a height of zero meters. We hit the ground here. That looks like about six seconds. Looks like it's just a smidge over six. Estimate the greatest height the object reached and the time it took to reach that height. Okay, greatest height is here 93-ish. And how long it took to get there? Looks like it's actually just under three seconds. Indicate this situation on the graph. That is right here. Ooh, that is our last one for today. This has been another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.